Number 40. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we have to balance NH3, ammonia, which is aqueous, plus oxygen, O2, yields NO2 gas. And this is in the gas phase. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, this is still a redox reaction. They're still telling us to balance it in the half reaction method. The only thing that they said that really, you know, it's in the gas phase. Technically in the gas phase, there should be no H plus, and the H plus is the acidic component. However, we're still going to try to attempt to balance it in an acidic solution. Chances are that our end answer should not have any H plus in it, right? There should not be any ions. There are no ions in any gas phase. That's basically what this was talking about. So hopefully, if we did it right, we should not have any ions, meaning we shouldn't see any charges in our, in our answer, in our full-blown answer. So let's do it. Okay, so for step one, we have to balance this full reaction into a half reaction. So I have to take this full equation and get basically two half equations or two half reactions. Link up the elements that are similar. I notice that I have a NH3 on the left, but more specifically, I, I have a nitrogen. And I see that I have a nitrogen on my product side. So these have to go together in my um, half reaction. Nitrogen goes with nitrogen. However, little old, you know, little lonely oxygen over here, eh, there, there's nobody on this side to, to hook up with, right? But that's okay because oxygens will always be balanced in step three. So it's okay for this guy to not have a counterpart at the moment. It will in a little bit. So I know that these two have to go together. Oxygen has just got to wait. O2, got to wait. So these are my two half reactions. The first one is NH3 aqueous yields NO2. And that's a gas. And then my second half reaction is O2, which will yield us nothing at the moment because I don't have anything here. But it will work its out it will work itself out in the end. Okay, so this part is done. Now I need to balance all elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. So all other elements. Don't touch hydrogen and don't touch oxygen. So in this case, I have a nitrogen and a nitrogen. All the other elements here are hydrogen or oxygen, which I can't balance yet. So let's just try to balance the nitrogen. Well, I have one nitrogen here, and I have one nitrogen here. So that's already balanced for us. We're, we're done with this step. We don't really have to do this step. This step was already balanced. Now we work on the oxygen, and we always balance the oxygen by adding H2O. Quick trick here, if you wanna add one oxygen to any side, you will need to add one H2O. So if you're adding two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. So let's see, let's look at the top here. Okay, I definitely see that I have an oxygen here and I have two of them. I have no oxygen on this side. So if I, if I have two on this side, I need to add two oxygen. So two oxygen, two H2O. Easy as that. Now let's work on the oxygen down here. I have an oxygen. I have two of them. I need, I have two. I need two on this side. So two H2O. Look how easy that was. And you see now it has like a full blown half reaction. Okay. Next one. We now balance the hydrogen by adding H plus. So quick trick here. If you need to add one hydrogen, on any side, you will add it as one H plus. So two hydrogen, two H plus. Three hydrogens, three H pluses. Okay, let's see. I have some hydrogen on this side, right? I have a hydrogen here and I have a hydrogen here. Let's count up the total on the left-hand side. There's two, right? But then there's a big two here, which means that it has to be multiplied. 
So it looks like there's a total of four hydrogen here, plus I had three hydrogens here. So I have a total of seven hydrogen on my left side. I have no hydrogen here. So if I need to add seven hydrogen, I'll add seven H pluses. Okay, so now I'm just gonna erase this math. We don't need it anymore. Now let's go down to the bottom. I have my hydrogen over here now, two, but there's a big two in the front. So two times two is four. I have no hydrogen here. So if I, if I have four, I need to add four. So that's four H plus. Okay. Let's keep going. Now we got to balance those charges. We got to balance the charges by adding the electrons and the electrons are E negative. Electrons are negative, right? We always add them to the more positive side. We need to figure out which side out of the half reaction is uh, more positive. So I like to break this up. This is where we're going to be doing our math for finding the charges. And we always look in the upper right hand corner. But for example, for this one, right, if I look in the upper right hand corner for this compound, I don't see anything. Just like I don't see anything for this. Or I don't even see anything for this, right? You see how there's a charge here and there's a charge here? There's no charges for the other ones. If there's no charge, that means that it's neutral. It's not positive nor negative. So it's zero. These, all three of these across the board would be zero. It doesn't matter what you're multiplying it by. Zero times any number is zero. So this would be an overall zero charge. This would be an overall zero charge. And zero plus zero is zero. So that's the overall charge for the left side. And now let's just do the right side. We figured out that this one was a zero charge, but now for the H plus, right? That's a plus one. So there's a charge there and I have seven of them. So seven times a plus one is a plus seven. And now you just got to add them, right? They were literally added. So you got to add the charges. Zero plus a plus seven is a positive seven. So here are your two charges. Now we add the electrons to the more positive side from a zero to a seven, which one is more positive? Yeah, totally this one, right? So I know that I have to add my electrons on my left side, but how many? Well, it's the difference. How many numbers does it go from a seven down to a zero? How many numbers away are they on like a number line? They're seven numbers away, right? So seven. I need to add seven electrons, and now the charge on both sides would be um, zero. Now we got to do the same thing for this one. So let's see. I have a plus charge again, so that's a plus one. Whoa. <laughs> and it's being multiplied by four. So four times a plus one is a plus four. But then, like we said before, there I don't see any charge up here. So zero. Add them up, plus four plus a zero is a plus four, cool. And now for this side, it's just water. There's no charge in the upper right hand corner. So that's a zero. So the whole side is a zero. Now this is more positive. Four is more positive than a zero. So I know that I have to add electrons to the left side, but how many? Well, how many numbers is four away from zero? Four. So I add four electrons. Okay. And this step is now done. Now, before we balance the electrons, I'm just going to erase the, um, the math here because we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to erase all of the extra things that we've done to figure out the charges and where to put the electrons. And now we are ready. Okay. So now we're back to here. So now we have to balance those electrons. I look at the electrons. I see that I have seven electrons on the, uh, left. Sorry. I still don't know left for my right. I do have to make that L. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about with your hand, you got to make that L L for left. 
yeah, I still do that. Anyway, so we have seven electrons on the right side, and we have four electrons on the left side, right? These need to be balanced. We can only balance them by multiplying. What's the closest number or the next number up that have in common between a seven and a four? Yeah, it's 28, right? If I take seven and I times it by four, I get 28. And if I take the four and I times it by seven, I get 28. So I need to multiply the top equation by four. And I need to multiply the bottom equation by seven. Now, I can't just erase this 7 and put a 28. I need to be fair. I need to multiply every single coefficient by the 4 as well. Everybody needs to get changed. So, let's try it out. Like, for example, for the first one, this was 2 waters. But now, since I'm timesing it all by 4, 2 times 4 is 8. I now have 8 waters. I had 1 NH3, but 1 times 4 is 4. And then maybe if I can just put this positive, so now I have that, right? I had 1 NO2, but now I'm timesing it by 4, so 1 times 4 is 4. I had 7 H pluses, but timesing it by 4, now I have 28 H pluses. Oh my gosh. And then 7 times 4, again, is 28 electrons. Okay, so this part's done. I don't need to do this. I'm going to do the same thing for a timesing by 7. you got to times 7 by all of the coefficients. So let's go for it. 4 times 7 is 28. So I'm just going to say 28 electrons. 4 times 7 is 28, so that's cool. I had 102, 1 times 7 is 7, and then I had 2 H2Os, 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, so now that's all done. This step is now complete. Boop. Now we have to cancel the like substances out. So all the like substances, electrons, they're the same, get rid of them. Waters, if they're the same, get rid of them. H pluses that you've added, if they're the same, get rid of them. Or you could even simplify by subtracting. So for example, the main reason why we got these to be the same is because we don't want them in our balanced equation. They are the same on both sides. They get, you know, bye-bye, they go bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see, anything else? Oh yeah, well here, I have 28 H pluses on my left side, and I have 28 H pluses on my right side. They're exactly the same, the same number. So they go away. And look, even though we did have H pluses, all of them went away, and that's a gas phase. I shouldn't have any ions. So we're doing it right. Let's keep going. I see that I have H. 8 H2Os on my left side, and then I have 14 H2Os on my right side. So now the number is different, however, you can still simplify. You simplify by subtraction. If you get rid of all of these 8, that means that you got rid of the 8 H2O here as well. 14 minus 8 is 6, so you have 6 H2Os remaining. So if I just erase this, and I will just say 6H2O. Uh, there's nothing else that I can add or actually simplify. Everything else is unique and it doesn't, it's not on the left or the right side. So now I just am done with this step and I'm going to rewrite everything as one equation. So I keep all of the left sides together and I keep all of the right sides together. So let's do it. I'll just do from top to bottom. So I got 4 NH3 aqueous plus the 7O2. Gas yields. Now I work on the right side, the 4 NO2 gas plus the 6 H2O. And that's your final answer. No ions, no charges, no H pluses, 
that's a gas phase. There you go. So even if we did balance it in acidic, it, it did cancel itself out. Awesome job, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, just gets the word out there that, you know, this service exists for chem. We have physics videos and we also got math videos. So you could check those out as well. Thank you so, 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 so much. You guys rock. And let's keep studying hard. See you later. Bye.